Still spending it, baby. Hi, and welcome to Evil Dick Live, um, the live internet talk show that Evil Dick does. So we're here today. We've got a cool guest here, Bridget, um, one of the Vivid Girls. Um, we were lucky enough to get them to send her over. So um, we're going to have that interview coming up a little bit later. Um, pretty much this is our last show before we go on hiatus. We're doing off-season content, so there's going to be a lot of stuff um, during the off-season that we're going to do from different diary rooms, from past house guests, to um, Dick's playing on interviewing the winner of the UK Big Brother um, and we'll see, you know, maybe some of the differences there between the British version and our version. Um, pretty much an exciting week Dick's had. We, uh, we talked about Vegas last week. Um, he's pretty much getting ready to do his European tour, so it's going to be pretty fun. Um, we got a lot to tune in, and Dick just did the reality show awards, and it was quite a huge success. Um, we're going to check out a clip of that in a little bit. Um... Here's Dick now, though. So, ladies and gentlemen, Evil Dick! Oh Woo! Come on, on time. What the hell's going on? <laughs> well, you're never on time. It's never We're trying to ruin your traffic, image, Dick. You know, I tried to, I swear. Oop. Uh, I'm trying to get. I left earlier. It took me yeah. half an hour just to get on the freeway. Yeah. It's it ridiculous. Uh. Well, first and foremost, thanks to Vivid, our wonderful sponsor. Oh, man. They, Vivid rules. And you know what? Um, we have. Well, she wants to be a Vivid girl. The Vivid girl. Um, flaked out of me today. Oh. Can you believe that? No. <laughs> <laughs> She's busy, a little worn out. <laughs> uh, all right, so um, we have some. We're not going to jump right into the video, but we. No, have, no, no, no. I was just getting. <laughs> we're going to be talking the about show. the uh, award show, the uh, Fox Reality Awards. Ah, uh, yeah. The, what do they call them? The, the official name is the the Really Awards. The Really. The Fox Really Awards. And it was bigger and better than ever this year. It was. Yeah. I mean, I got out of the limo. How and many years has it been going on? Three. Yeah. Three? Yeah. Only, three. yeah, only three or four, I think. Yeah, three. Is that better? No. Okay. <laughs> All right, so, <laughs> so, yeah, the third year. And uh, the, the routine is, the, the way it goes, is whoever wins the golden real team, which is the... Uh, Entertainer of the Year. Right, like the Lifetime Achievement equivalent. <laughs> no, reality not awards. Lifetime. No, no, just for that year. I yeah. mean, one season it doesn't, you know, Lifetime. Um, so anyhow, um, Fair Play won it um, the year before me, so he presented the award to me, which is how he ended up on the stage with uh, Danny Bonaducci, you know, throwing him over his head. Now, that whole thing... There was, I think, a few factors involved in that last year. Um, the first thing was the power went out. So there was an hour and a half of the taping that it wasn't the power in the building. It was the power for all the equipment, yeah. the cameras and the extra lights and all that stuff. So it was another hour and a half of open bar for these people as well. So... Uh, I wish I had gone. Open bar. Like, yeah, well, you, you know, he might have ended up on the stage. Yeah. Well, that would be so bad. We, uh, oh, wait until you see this. There's like a, there's a, there's a crazy woman running on the stage. Really? Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm not kidding you. And you know what? It was another child star. Oh, Why is it that the child stars from these classic... They go insane. 60s movies, or shows... You know, the TV shows from the 60s, this is the second year in a row that one's just like lost their mind and ran up on stage. Uh, well, I mean, growing up in front of the public, it's hard enough to grow up anyways, you know, like how we're also freaking growing up. But trying to grow up in the public's eyes when you're so susceptible to people's other people's perceptions as opposed to just standing in your own. Well, and no matter what and how old they get, I mean, he's, he's still crazy. Danny Bonaducci. Yeah. That little freckle-faced boy, you know, he's not the... Uh, I, well, I'd rather, yeah, you know. Yeah, um, you know how we all feel about Danny Bonaduce. Um, well, yeah. So, uh, and I won't even say who this year, but uh, you know, with that whole situation, it was like a fair play came up to me beforehand last year, and he said, um, "That's not me writing." <laughs> uh, he says, uh, "Dick, you won the award," and I go, "How do you know?" He goes, yeah. I looked at it. has your name engraved on it. I'm like, oh, you asshole. You just took all like the fun out of it. He goes, uh, well, I want you to, uh, I'm going to jump on you 
make sure you catch me. I'm like, what are you talking about? He goes, it'll be really funny. I'm going to run and jump on you. He goes, I weigh like, you know, a buck 35 or something. He goes, and I'm going to act like I'm humping you. I'm like, no, 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 you're not. He goes, trust me, trust me, it'd be funny. I'm like, I ain't trusting you for shit. No, no way. Come on, man, come on, man. I'm like, well, let's talk about it later. So, uh, obviously, uh, he was really drunk and mistook me for Danny Bonaduce or something, because that's exactly what he did to him. Yeah. So, uh, I was kind of glad that, you know. Danny but then again, I wouldn't have thrown him that. over his head. I mean, that was obviously a little over the top. He didn't need to throw him over his head and crack his teeth. But at the same time, with Everett being a little more drunk, I'm sure his intentions weren't to smash his face. Well, you know, a combination but, of the alcohol and steroids. Yeah. <laughs> but, I mean, I wouldn't, yeah, I wouldn't trust anything Johnny Fairplay suggested. I'd be like, well, sure enough, sure is, enough, I'll say, sure. But I think she was in the front on the red carpet the fucking, like, saying that if he sees Fairplay, he's going to kick his ass that same day. And, you know, I was like, why didn't they bring charges? I guess they tried and... Yeah. It was just ridiculous. And they should have, you know, had somebody at the edge of the stage or something. I mean, seriously. Security, some reason. I mean, it seems kind of like anybody could do anything, as I'm sure we'll see in the And studio. they did. <laughs> <laughs> and they did. And uh, as you will see, I had to try to top <clears throat> last year's, but without people losing teeth. Mm -hmm. You know? And um, I, I don't know if it topped it, but it... Certainly made, I think it was the uh, highlight of the evening. Uh, yeah. You know, I, I was talking to Ron Jeremy. He's like, oh my God, it was so boring this year. But, you know, except for the, the gag you pulled. But um, it was fun. Uh, I had a good time. And I had um, Crazy James with my camcorder to catch it off. Oh, I was wondering whose voice that's that was. How we, that sounded oh, that, like me. <laughs> and I was like, I wasn't there, but maybe I just That's how I got bar. this footage, and I'm sure that they're not going to be thrilled that I'm going to play this footage um, before. But um, you watched it all the way through, right? I haven't had a chance. Yeah. Like, um, oh, yeah, so I don't announce who won or anything because they I end up doing it like three times. Right. So uh, it's not giving anything away, and uh, I don't even know if you'll see any of this on the show or not. They said that they're going to try to use as much of it as they can. I'm not going to give too much of it away. I'm going to, you know, we'll, we'll play it. But, um, but this year it was, it was, um, it was so much bigger than it was last year. There was a lot more people there. It was at, uh, Avalon, um, which used to be the palace. The first yeah. time I was at the palace, I saw the, uh, the Ramones there. Gabba Gabba Hey. And, uh, that's where I did my first stage dive. Nice. Yeah. Good memories. Yeah. Without a doubt, man. I saw Andrew Dice Clay there too. Yeah. Dick, as, as you know, because I had texted you last week about how hard it was to get See, tickets. See, wait, is that word, did I, okay, I want to know the plural of text. Text. Did I texted you? Yeah. Or I text you? <laughs> No, I, was, I, text I texted you. you. I think. No, yeah, see, Works nobody for knows. Me. Everybody no, says it differently. Yeah. Well, because text, it could, uh, there's a physical action of texting. So, um, there's got to be a past text, tense. You text, he texts. So it's texts. a past tense. Yeah. No. Past tense would be texted. Well, I Yeah, that's what I you. said. I texted it, you. I texted him. I Yeah, see? I could go either way. It really could. Maybe it's like read and read. Huh? Read yeah. and read. What the hell? Oh. Oh, man. If we got to make up oh, an entire... Tomato and tomato? No, no, no. Potato no. I mean, potato. like, I... I Let's I, call the whole thing off. I am going to read this book, or I have read this book. Spelled the same way. I like the... He's got the hooded warrior as his name. Uh -huh. How sad is that? He's named after Adam's dick. Nice. How's that? Uh, we need to get her in here. Yeah, definitely. Well, do we want to do your video first? We got the... No, video she... Video. No, no, no. Not yet. She's in the video. We oh. need to get her... In. Perfect. Um, right. So, yeah, Bridget B has to come in. Come on in, Bridget. She's hot, huh? Yeah, smoking hot. Hey, Bridget. Yeah. She's oh, a hot yeah. piece of ass. And feel free to disrobe anytime. That was, <laughs> that wasn't part of the contract. 